Yeah. Yeah, my name is Marty Kranz. I got beef with the fucking border ad. Nigga, I know what the fuck it is, man. Sanity for the wolf, man. The sanity for the wolf is insane to the sheep. So you already know the vibes. You already know how I'm giving it up. You already know what's going on, man. If you don't understand what I'm saying, let me explain to you, right? If you sit there and you come across one of these episodes, right? And you like this. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? You are lame. Like, I want, I want you to understand that. Like, you're a fucking lame. Like, that's why you don't get what I'm saying. And it ain't for you. I'm going to keep it real with you. To the lames that do understand what I'm saying. Because you're going to have lames that actually get what I'm saying. Listen, don't try to mimic. You know them lames, man. Niggas will see you. They try to take your whole shit, your energy. They take your whole vibe. And then they try to replicate. You know them. But they really lames. You got to be, yo, to all the wolves out there, stand clear of them fucking lames at all costs. Do you get that? Today we're going to talk about my favorite fucking subject, misinformation. The only information to give out is misinformation. I want you to understand what I'm saying. The only information to give out is misinformation. Shout out to Pimpin' Kent, man. I read his book, man, 48 Laws of the Game, right? He said, yo, those who know, don't say. And those who say, don't know. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let that one fucking sink in. And you like, great, but you sitting here talking all of this shit. Like, yo, listen, I'm speaking in code. You a lame. You don't even get what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, man. Misinformation. So what this means is, don't you know bad boys move in silence and violence? Like, yo, listen, right? You know how niggas go down for homies? Because they fucking talk too much. That's how niggas be going down for man dams. They fucking talk too much. I never met a life that said it was worth it. And I never met a lifer that still had a whole bunch of friends that he had in the streets. So while you running around doing all that bullshit, right, for the gang, understand that the gang is going to leave your dumb ass in the can. So what does that mean? Yo, you never tell your niggas shit. Yo, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. You don't tell them niggas nothing. If you going left, you tell them niggas right. If you going up, you tell them niggas down. If it's fucking yellow, you tell them brown. I don't give a fuck how you do it, but you never tell them motherfuckers the right shit. Who the fuck? I need to know who told you that being honest was a thing. See, you want to have pity in a game that has no pity. And this is only for niggas that still playing in the streets. I don't play in the streets, but if we playing in the streets, let's my niggas by hook or by fucking crook, and you need to know that. You got your team, you got your niggas, you know what I'm saying? And your loyalty extends there and stops there at the end. And guess what? You don't tell them niggas shit. Yo, you don't tell them niggas nothing. You don't tell them niggas how much money you got. You always act like you broke. Oh, I ain't got it, man. I'm fucked up, boy. Yo, boy, I'm fucked up. <laughs> what? I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I ain't never gonna have it. You gotta show love. Don't get it twisted. You gotta feed your team. But you gotta feed your team to an extent. You know, sit it. We already know the rules, man. You don't pay niggas what they work. You pay niggas what they take. I learned that from experience. Niggas was like, fuck it. Robbing me when I was out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, yo, kid, I can't take this and fuck it like that. And I'm sitting here trying to show love in a game with no love. I'm here to tell you right now. Fucked up, niggas. Whoa! Yo. Fuck them, niggas, boy. Like, no funny shit. You think that them niggas is cool with you? Don't get it twisted. You gonna have niggas that's gonna be your friends, but they're not street niggas. Any nigga that you play with in the streets is not your friend. He is your op. Yo, listen to me. It's gonna be hard for you to understand that. Any nigga that you in the streets playing with 
is not your friend. He is your op. You should be planning to fucking knock his head off. You know, friends in the streets? There's no fucking rules in the streets. That means there is no piety. That means there is no morality. So that means that, right, with the things that you're pumping and you're trying to get from somebody, and if you give it to them, then you have to understand that they will fucking snake you. You can fucking bet your last dollar on it, and you ain't ever got to worry about it. You ain't got to listen to the Grammy, though. I'm just a lame. I, <laughs> I'm just a lame. I ain't never been outside. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I got hell for winging the prayer. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Shout out to the real niggas that made it, man. Word, man. Shout out to the real niggas that made it. I'm going to end this with this, man. Your character is who you are, right? Your character is based off the situations that you're in, right? So you think that, right, the rules that a person got when they was a child, right, all the rules to live life under a productive society, right, that they would apply it into a world of chaos. How do you bring order and chaos? Now, there has been order and chaos. Shout out to the mafia. You feel what I'm saying? They did their thing. Like, you feel what I'm saying? They brought order to chaos, and they prospered for as long as they could, but understand that you could not have power in the streets. Not true power. Not absolute power. Because you can always go to jail. That's what the mafia learned. If you go to a fucking jail, they got this Rico going around, and Rico is worse than paying in full. I'm telling you right now, this is the worst Rico. He ain't even playing with niggas. He knocking niggas' heads off, and you can play around with that if you want. It wouldn't be wise. But I don't think a lot of you niggas is that bright anyway. So, I'm going to just keep it real, man. Yo, how I know you're not that bright? Because you're still playing in the streets. And when I was in the streets, I thought I was smart. But guess what? I wasn't too fucking bright. So, you know, you can play if you want. Keep your grip. Stay dangerous. And y'all niggas already know the vibes.